First of all, a geometry for the work plan is created, in this case, in millimeters. You can also switch to inches. Differing from turning, here the geometry is not completely created in the graphic dialog, but contours are taken from the CAD via DXF first, followed by the geometry adaptations. The subsequent creation of the work plan is also arrived at in a different way. The work plan is not created as for turning. An existing work plan is analyzed and optimized. We start with creating a new file for the finished part. The workpiece name is entered. The bottom edge is at Z minus 20, knowing that the workpiece thickness is 20 millimeters. The geometries are imported from CAD files. A DXF file is opened. Your selection is assisted by a graphical display. The area encompassing the desired contours is established first. Followed by setting the workpiece zero point. Subsequently, the first contour is selected, added, and the appropriate Z value entered. The 3D view can be invoked immediately. Another contour is looked for as a next step. Here, the hexagon is selected and added. The 3D view shows the result. Furthermore, three boreholes are to be taken from the DXF file. The circles function is used to add three boreholes. And to enter the depth. Now for technical production reasons, the corners of the hexagon are rounded with R1. Six corners of the outer contour are also rounded with R1. Next, the central borehole is created with a diameter of 20 and a depth of minus 20. Then holes in a circle for six M8 threaded holes are added with the corresponding values. In addition, a contact surface is to be created at a depth of minus 15. The corner point between the arc and the straight line is found by determining the point. These are the coordinates of this point.
Next is a circle the center point of which is at x0, y0. The end point of the arc is again found by means of the point determination. The contour is closed via Modify and Finish Contour. All conceivable values are displayed via Information. Knowing the volume or also the mass might be important for a calculation. Now a text is added. Finally, the workpiece is added to the demo folder under the name Flange. If you open the file at a later date, the file name and the workpiece will appear. Using the pictograph with the yellow arrow at the top right, you can always switch to a different operating mode.